Hello, my beautiful Cancers. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for your mid monthlies. It's going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know they need to look and help you with your situation. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's switch up camera views here. All right, so first we're going to talk about love, then we're going to talk about career and finance, and then we're going to talk about what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know could help you with your situation. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. Okay, so what's going to have my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Cancer's Career and Finance for now until the end of December. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So remember, this is going to be the first half of December. It's the middle. Well, this is going to be what's coming up soon. This is the middle, and this is the end of the month here, right? So we're already looking like uh, we're in the middle of December. So it's going to happen first, second, and then last. Okay, so someone's asking themselves the question, why did I get out of bed at all? We see the High Priestess card energy. Some of you guys may be spiritually connecting with someone or you're feeling some intuitive messages from someone. Let's see what this is about. Seven of Cups shows me that there is some type of confusion here. There's some kind of confusion about what to do about a situation. Okay. Is that my Cancer's Romantic Love Life? Nine cards my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards my Cancer's Career and Finance. For now, until the end of December, show me cards you see. Show me the cards I need. See. Okay, so, wow, a tower card. There seems to be like these big events coming up, at, um, and I see it in a lot of the signs, even in the uh, the biweeklies I was doing, um, coming up. There's going to be this massive, really big shock and surprise, this big event that's going to cause some kind of confusion here. Okay, uh, let's get more information here. You know what, let's use this deck first. Let's up my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards my Cancer's Career and Finance. From now until the end of December, show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So I feel like there's this energy of this person who Cancer is very depressed feels like they can't get out of bed, they don't know what to do, okay, that kind of energy, okay? There is somebody who, you're going to find out there's a strong temptation here, okay? Because that's the temptation card, almost like the devil card energy. And this big shock and surprise, this big event, is going to cause some sense of confusion. Let's keep going. Let's find out my Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for Cancer's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards my Cancer's Romantic Finance. Now until the end of December. The cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. <laughs> oh man. Okay, someone's like feeling like, all right, I don't want to play myself for a fool here. Okay, let's keep going. So we got this worry and concern going on with a Nine of Swords energy. Yep, someone's concerned about being foolish. Okay, about a situation. Let's keep going. It looks like you're going to get exactly what you want, though. Your, your wishes are going to be fulfilled, Cancer. Your wishes are going to be fulfilled. There's strong temptation, strong desire, and the fulfillment of desires here. Okay, let's see. Ten of Wands. So someone feels overwhelmed or burdened about a situation. Nine of Pentacles shows financial independence, isolation, separation, someone single available to pursue. Okay. We see that someone's going to travel towards you. Yep, we got the nine of pentacles kind of energy again, single and available to pursue. Because what I'm feeling is like this person's like, I don't know how to get out of bed. I feel depressed. And uh, it's like, it's built there. There's a sad energy here. And I feel like this person's like, really 
strongly tempted by you, the strong temptation, lots of overthinking, and I feel like they're gonna try to travel towards you because of the sense of independence, because of this isolation or separation. Yep, there's some indecisions here with the Two of Swords energy. Someone's like, am I gonna be foolish in this? You know, because also you can see this, this Joker is on a bicycle, right? And anything to do with anything uh, like horses or, you know, um, bicycles or anything like that could show some type of movement happening here. Um, and we see this like, there's some movement happening here. Someone's like, I should, you know, I feel foolish about the situation, but I'm overwhelmed and burdened. This is weighing heavy on me and I'm at a crossroads about what to do because they, uh, they feel depressed about the connection. You're about to get what you want here with the Nine of Cups energy. Okay, so something is going to be accomplished or complete because someone's deciding to make a decision. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Yep, that's what I said, justice, decision being made. Okay, and we see it because of this stuck and complacent energy. Yep, the stuck and complacent energy. Could be to do with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This is the King of Pentacles, all right? So someone wants to make the wisest decision when it comes to the long term here. Seems like there's a lot of confusions, like a lot of like delusions. Am I seeing this the right way? You see, I just want to give you guys an example and understand what the moon card is. Okay, so I always uh, antiquate this when I go on vacation. I go on vacation and when I, when I get there, it's nighttime. And wow, the city looks so beautiful. Okay, All right. But then I wake up in the morning and I see the city for what it is. And it's like, okay, this is not, <laughs> this is not what I expected it to be. So someone's like concerned. Am I seeing this clearly, right? Am I seeing this the right way with the moon card energy? Someone is very much looking at you, very attracted to you, all right? They're, they're, they're definitely a tr attraction here. And they wanna bring things together. And we see Seven of Pentacles, they want to invest some time where there's been an investment of time to see what the results are gonna be. Like think of Seven of Pentacles of like, someone who wants to invest in something, okay? You're investing in something and you wanna see, am I going to get some kind of result from the investment? Okay, Seven of Pentacles energy, okay? Because I deeply love them, King of Cups energy, right? I wanna throw it all on the line. I want to, and I almost feel like also this King of Cups is saying, I want to be romantic with you. Um, I want to take you places. I want to, I want to, you know, show you around. Um, I just want to lay it all on the line. I just want to be honest about my feelings. Um, I feel like this person is, you know, trying to get some help with this situation. Um, that's going to be an old fashioned term, really, but that's what's coming through they're going to try to woo you <laughs> okay all right uh when it comes to this romance mm -hmm. to hold on to four pentacles energy mm -hmm. so let's go further here and let's get a little bit more information cancer okay so this is my cancer's romantic love life give me nine cards my cancer's romantic love life give me nine cards my cancer's career and finance for now until the end of december show me the cards I need to see show me the cards i need to see all right, so yeah, we see something about travel here and bringing out possibilities of communication and taking a chance. Uh, we see there's a relationship here and concerns about going around in a circle and repeating the same pattern. And uh, this person's like, well, let's go out, let's have some fun, all right? Let's enjoy ourselves together, you know? Um, we see that a sun card is coming out, showing, wow, you guys have the best card in the deck now, coming out for the rest of this month, okay, that's good. So any negative cards that are there are just basically like, all right, it's not as negative. It's not gonna be that bad. As I hear, not so bad, not so bad. All right, Sun card is showing me that there's a happy energy. You're about to be very happy, Sun card energy, about, and very optimistic and hopeful here about your romantic love life. It looks like because someone's decided to uh, break free from a situation and make a decision and let's see what this is about. And they're presenting some kind of offer opportunity. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on this the rest of this month, I would tell you guys. If you guys are cross-watching, you know what I mean. And also I did the bi-weeklies and man, I, 
there's a lot of stuff going on. I feel like maybe it's because of the holidays, it really makes people just really, and also we got the new year we're going into, so it makes people like think about things in a different way and like, you know, wanting a lot of changes, but also focused on the fact that there is love here, right? It's, just, it's definitely, we see there's something about a house, a home, and almost like I see there's like a celebration going on here in this card. And it's like, uh, my intuition's telling me, right? This person's trying to do some sly slick energy to get your attention. And we go further, we see actions of love, Knight of Cups energy. And then we go further on this, cause there's a lot of emotion. So somebody is really feeling you emotionally here, okay? There could be two different people involved, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Uh, but we see that there's a strong possibility for this relationship. And then it's like, let me give you the keys here. Uh, uh, there's this opportunity presents itself. There's energy being put into the situation because concerns are like, I need to navigate this. I don't want to go around circles here. And I feel really, I really love you. And I want to take a chance and let's have a good time. Let's just have fun. Mm. Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. This person realizes you can be very selective of what you want. And uh, let me see what's going on here. It looks like there's some advice being given here because it looks like you guys may have some uh, choices to make here. Okay. Um, yep, main person. And we see nine of swords, worries and concerns. Okay, about an ending of a situation. Okay, stopping ending completion. Okay, so. Let's just bring it all together here, Cancer. So the theme of this month versus month is going to be navigating a situation and not feeling like you're going around in a circle, okay? And there are some huge possibilities presenting themselves, maybe even for travel there, or someone's gonna travel towards you, but there's an opportunity to be presented. And uh, because someone's deciding to end another situation to take a chance, okay? And we see there's energy being put into relationships and a lot of emotions and lots of fun. It's like almost like there's a competition going on with another person to get your affections here. So we see, when I see the Joker card, it's like, I don't wanna be foolish about this, but I wanna make the wise decision long-term. I need to make a choice, right? There's burdens and responsibilities, and I have an investment of time, and I wanna see what happens with this. There's actions of love being taken, but there's some indecisions about, do I wanna hold on to this situation because I'm worried and concerned? Okay, there's some self-doubt going on. Of something stopping, completion. I heard the horn going on there. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So there's a strong temptation coming in. A stuck energy will end. We see fulfillment of your desires. Things will come together because we see that the, the, the blender is coming out as the central theme. Someone is doing some sly slick energy to get your attention, to see what's going on with you. Because of this isolation, this separation, because of the single and available to pursue, there is romance here for you this month with the main person. So it's definitely like they're trying to do whatever they can to like, be romantic with you, have a good time, do a lot of fun things. Okay, so there's a shock and surprise about this stuck, stagnant energy, all right, or a massive change around this complacent, stuck energy. We see something hopeful here. Someone's concerned about being foolish or they're gonna purchase some things or buy some things for you. We see to get your attention, because it's like all about you're getting your attention. You see that, the peacock there? It's like, oh my God, cancer's so attractive, so beautiful, all right, or talk about male or female, but they're, they're looking, some, some people are looking at you like, wow, okay? And you know, uh, you're seeing some signs here and we see some traveling going on and some help with a, some advice. So some, some of you are getting some advice about this situation. It comes to this travel movement or change. Okay, so they could also be offering to move in here because we see something about a house here, okay? Okay, so. All right, so we see this, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do here. Seven of Cups energy. I need to make a decision about my happiness, but I have self-doubt and worries and concern if I'm seeing this the right way. We see this house and this home situation and this financial independence. 
We see this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, you, there's definitely someone deeply in love with you with the King of Cups energy. And we see this Queen of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. We see very attractive. You guys can be very selective. If we look at the numbers of this, there's confusions about what you want. Yep, two nine card energies. And you need to make some type of decision. Now, justice can be just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce. So this decision is rather confusing, but there is this very deep love connection. And we see Sun card talks about success, happiness, about this house, this home, marriage situation. And we see uh, some of you guys could have a couple of options here with the Queen of Wands energy. Because the Queen of Wands speaks to me of like, you're attracting a lot of offers, opportunities to you. And with the cat standing out in the front, the cat speaks to me of saying, I can be selective of what I want, right? We have this person on your mind that's like very, very much in love with you, but you're confused about what to do because there's worries and concerns about this decision because this house, this home, possibly some of you guys may even have to change houses or homes or something about this house and home. When it comes to this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, you're confused if this is making you happy, you're trying to be patient, possibly uh, focusing on self or wanting some financial independence or this King of Cups is trying to get some you know, bring some financial independence here to attract you with the Queen of Wands energy. So let's, let's give you guys some advice, okay? Can I have some advice my campers when it comes to romantic love life? Their highest, best, go. the best possible for them. Now until the end of December, show me the cards I need, you see? Show me the cards I need. Two, see. All right, so you need to be practical in your planning when it comes to your romantic love life. Take a breath, all right? It has to be safe for you to love. This needs to be an equal give and take. There's a win-win outcome forecasted for a relationship, okay? Because the energy is gaining in your favor, but you gotta work through your fears, your worries. Your hard work will pay off. But you just need to know that you have to pay attention to your intuition and surrender to the divine. It's gonna happen at the right time. I know you're getting angry and frustrated, but you're very close to achieving this goal. And so don't let your emotions run away with you here, okay? Yep, you, this is a very lucky time for you guys. All right, so let's move into your career and finance here, Cancer. Well, that's a good sign, especially since I'm bringing out the chariot. I hear that there's like this motorcycle outside and it means that things are taking off and moving fast. Okay, so some of you guys may be doing some traveling here or you're really getting things accomplished here. Um, it does look like you guys are kind of keeping things to yourself or keeping things close to the best there. That's what I feel like with that Seven of Swords energy. It's almost like she's playing cards or poker and she's like, mm, I'm not gonna tell you everything that's going on. I'm just gonna see what's going on in my hand and then, uh, tell you as needed, right? Okay, so we got this money finance situation. There could be some concerns of competition and concerns of regrets about that. I know how it is sometimes when you work in an office, you <laughs> when you have projects and stuff, okay? So I feel like you guys are like, hmm, I'm just gonna keep things close to the vest for myself. I don't wanna reveal everything, okay? We see this massive shock and surprise about this money situation and really happy about it, some card energy. But there's concerns about disappointments, so you're trying to keep some things to yourself so you don't have some disappointments or regrets about a situation. Going further, Eight of Cups, you're considering walking away from a situation because of a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, or there's some kind of policy that just have to be played here when it comes to your uh, you know, money long-term, Ten of Pentacles energy, you're trying to accomplish something, complete something here. You're doing a lot of reflecting about this before you take this action. And uh, it's definitely very lucky for you guys. The timing is starting to be right. So it looks like Ten of Cups, you guys are in a place of going into the next, uh, what's gonna happen here next. You guys are very happy actually, Ten of Cups energy. Main person. Uh, you are resolving some things here actually financially. Um, and we got the Joker card again. So it's like you're taking a risk, leap of faith, right? That's like the full card energy. And we see when it comes to people, there are some friendships, some socializing, maybe a celebration going on here with the Three of Cups energy. We do know there's office parties and stuff going on. And there's some concerns of some sadness. 
and you're not really fully committed to a situation, um, it looks to me like Four of Swords, you're doing some thinking and contemplating about this. You are getting some kind of confirmation though, but some of you guys feel like your hands are tied in a situation. And you get this surprise about this communication, letter, message, document, paperwork. And I see the nine of wands here come out and showing me you're very cautious, but you are, you know, feeling like you could bring some peace and harmony to the situation when it comes to these people. Okay, so, so far, let's just bring it together so far. So you're getting some kind of good confirmations, okay? And you're ready to take an action to bring some kind of peace and harmony to the public, the people, to the group of people around you. And it shows me that there is gonna be a sense of peace and harmony because of luck. But we see by the end of the month, a massive change happens. We got the tower card. But this change is a happy change, okay? Because of some kind of movement, travel, change of a queen of wands energy, things come into balance. Wow, then you get this sense of, all right, now I'm stuck in the middle of a situation. <laughs> when it comes to this fresh start, new opportunity, because of stuff from before, all right? And that causes you some issues when it comes to your stability and stableness. Let's bring it all together and I'll just, I'll just bring it together here. All right, five of pentacles. Looks like you're gonna have to spend some money or something about some kind of spending of money here, okay? We see that there's some kind of letter, message, document, paperwork. And there's something about this house home situation and needing some kind of work or effort. And it's like, oh, I have to revisit this again. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that could be a real estate situation. Some of you guys may be involved in real estate, maybe land, you know, managing a property there. It looks like you're gonna have to spend some money to get something about this house, home, or real estate fixed, okay? Uh, towards the end of the month there, something comes up uh, for some of you guys. I know that's a very specific message, but let's see this another way as well. Okay, so you get some great confirmation, okay? Uh, in the, that's a central theme, it's saying something is spot on, you get this spiritual confirmation, you're like, yeah, that's it. And you reflect on some things and you bring things into balance and you're revisiting some things you did before and now it's the right time. You're taking actions towards these people, socializing, networking, okay, towards your stability and stables and you bring a sense of harmony around it. Okay, so you're trying to walk away from uh, something that you feel is very foolish when it comes to this um, Aries, excuse me, this Aries Sagittarius Leo energy, this Queen of Wands, and this Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. We see that you're thinking and contemplating about this sense of issues here and the burdens and responsibilities around it. And you're very cautious and defensive because of you having to learn something or having to put some work or a lot of effort into it. So I'd say involve some people here, okay? Okay, moving this out of the way. Um, so there is this shock and surprise and something you resolve because of this traveling success, travel, movement, change, or success, happiness. You're not fully committed, okay, because of things from before and disappointments. We see this letter, message, document about, or paperwork about this house, this home, a sense of stability and stableness, okay? Okay, so there's, there's money coming in to the main person and you're really happy about that. But there's some issues with a particular person, maybe a masculine here, or some self-doubt around a situation which causes you some sadness, some issues uh, because of this naivete and regrets from before. But then you get this surprise message. Okay, let's just see what that surprise message is about this commitment or obligation towards something that you love. And we see something from this friend who's very loyal and devoted, and you're able to go after what you want and have a sigh of relief when it comes to your trapped energy around these sly slickness and because you gain knowledge. Okay, so this friend does help you gain some kind of knowledge here. 
to move forward past a trapped energy. Because if we bring it together, right, we go across like this, okay? So you're starting out like things are moving, things are moving fast and, and, and you're on top of it. And also some of you guys could be doing some travel because we got literally got the chariot in the world. Or if that's not the case for some of you guys, it could be just the fact that you are accomplishing a lot because World Tard talks about accomplishment. And you're keeping things close to the vest, I feel like with Seven of Swords energy or there's concerns about some deceptions here. And uh, oh, thank you, Spirit. That's a confirmation I heard in text. Um, there's this long-term happiness and this friends, these friends, and feeling a little bit trapped there. Okay, but then this massive change happens, massive change happens, and we see this stuck, stagnant energy is over. Because actually the Five of Pentacles is a loss, but it's a loss of something stuck. Okay, so something that's, that was stuck stops. Okay, and we go further on this. Yep, it's like you're able to juggle two things at once and make a decision. Because of this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and this Queen of Pentacles, and we see you receive some kind of good news about some things that were regretful for you from before. And you get new perspective, new understanding, Page of Swords energy, which is allowing you to be defensive about this situation or cautious when it comes to this contract or commitment, when it comes to these burdens and responsibilities you have to take on. Something goes in your favor with the judgment card energy and it just looks like you're sitting back and like, okay, I can enjoy this. I'm just okay, let things grow, abundance is coming in, okay, Empress card. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice from my cancers when it comes to their career and finance for the highest best gift, for the best possible offer for them? Now until the end of December, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to yeah allow yourself to be supported by these other people yeah isn't that interesting didn't i just tell you guys i was like you guys are going to be sitting back and relaxing <laughs> sometimes i feel the same way though cancer it's like sometimes i just need to let others kind of also do some things for me and so i don't feel so overwhelmed and burdened when it comes to work and career and all those kinds of things because i tried to do everything and i used to be like that even with my food business i would try to do everything i would have, i would have my hand in everything i'd have to do it all right but that's just uh sometimes i have to surrender and know that I can't do everything and sometimes I need help with those things too. So I would say this is what it's saying to me for you guys, just sit back, relax, and let the support system take over, okay? It's okay to honor your ideas and to get it out there and to break some routines, right? And to fight for what you want here in your expression, but it's saying, Give it some time and be patient here, okay? It's okay to slow things down. You're gonna, over you're gonna overcome something very tough and hard. But I, I feel like sometimes we, we put so much energy into the outcome of that. So Spirit's saying, release that, surrender to that outcome and just let it be and know it's gonna work out. Follow your passions and see the best in the situation, even though sometimes it's like, you're like, this is, I don't like, I don't like this, <laughs> okay? Uh, and only, know that's only for you, okay? That there is room at the top and that nothing is wasted because life is an art. All right, so let's see what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you know can help you, Cancer. So what does Cancer need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to help them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. See. All right, Cancer. Listen for intuition. When it comes to your manifestation and trust. Here's the thing, guys. If you try to manifest something, you got to have full faith that it will happen. And if it is delayed, if it is delayed, you just tell yourself it's delayed for a reason, that it's all for your highest, best good, okay? And when manifesting something, 
you want to do something to show the universe there's some work being done to create that manifestation okay so um, like for instance mm, you could you can do anything really uh, you could you could say you know I'm gonna exercise for 15 minutes a day uh, and um, this is the the energy I'm giving back to benefit from that manifestation because as I've told you guys in my manifestation video that you guys can check out it's on YouTube it's there needs to be some kind of giving to the universe to receive back okay so if you guys want more information you can watch that video it is up and available right now so all right so go within and listen to your intuition you got received some kind of vision here and you got to listen to that intuition even though when there's a pause here uh, yes forgiveness also re removes energy blockages like what happens a lot of times is that we start to we need to understand that when we go through trauma and stuff it throws energy blockages in the way and when something also stops our manifestation it's usually because we're very emotionally attached to it so something about that situation needs to be healed in order to remove those blockages to move forward yeah it's telling you to clear your energy so it seems to me it's yeah say your obstacles and blockages are going to be removed so I feel like what it's trying to say for me, some of you cancers are feeling like a little bit stagnant, a little bit stuck right now, but you have to understand that you can make this happen, okay? Sometimes it's just because we put the energy onto it so much and we have so much focus and let me just show you how energy works, okay? So when you wanna, you want something so bad, you want something so bad, where's your energy? It's pushing it away, pushing it away. But what do you do? You pull that energy back. It's kind of like um, when I was telling you about the story, I don't know if I've told you guys, but um, I remember when I was younger, I was really into this one guy, man. I was like really into him and like, I was really upset about it. And then what happened was, my friends are like, hey, you know, it's a, it's a teenager time, let's go to the mall. Hey, let's go hang out. Let's forget that person, you know, whatever. And it, it took, took some convincing, but eventually I did uh, go out and just, after a while, I don't know how long it was, I kind of just forgot about that person and I just started focusing on me and lo and behold the person shows up see that's the thing it's when we forget about it we just kind of like set it forget it and then we come back to it and wow there is a manifestation right there okay and even if you uh, if you guys ever dealt with any kind of sales so like I was doing my food business I had to demo to people and there was this pressure of like you know each store you have to sell like a certain amount of products and so then I would feel under pressure, but I would have to pull myself back and I would say, okay, you're going to be okay. It's everything's going to be all right. Have fun. Okay. That's the thing. When you have fun and you set that intention of just having a good time, that's when things start to move forward. It's when we want some kind of result to happen. That's when we put those blockages in the way. I hope, it, I hope that's clear to you guys when it comes to manifestation. But if you want more information, I do have that video up and available for you guys to watch. And there's multiple readings you guys if you watch right now as well. The bi-weeklies are up and available. The whole month of December reads are up and available. I'm about to receive the, release the 2024 reads. And um, yeah, true feelings, true intentions, all up and available for you guys to watch right now. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon.